the Isle of Scale. Headquarters of the Ark Society. Founded by Janus in 1991, the Ark Society is the world's most exclusive club. Its plutocratic members fear the downfall of civilization, and they are willing to pay huge sums to ensure their own survival. Once a year, they gather here to shop the latest survival products and to showcase new initiatives and breakthroughs. Right. These gatherings are shrouded in mystery, so we have limited intel on what to expect on the other side of the walls. The Washington Twins are hosting their first annual gathering as chairwomen of the Ark Society, and the Constant is known to attend every year. Beyond that, you're on your own. Good luck, gentlemen. I dare say you're going to need it. Zoe Washington, one of our newly appointed chairwomen. Ah, uh, I see someone's in a hurry to get sir. Well. Listen, sir. Every encounter is an opportunity, and every time you make a bad impression, that's my fault. Excuse me. It does add to the mood for sure, but I figure it's mostly about discretion. All it takes is one Joe Schmo running his mouth, and we'll be at the butt end of a social media shitstorm. Sure, but. What about all the servants? Their wants are modest. Just pay their kids college tuition and they take our secrets to the grave. But artists and celebs are a different story. Those delicate, creative class snowflakes didn't find what we do morally offensive. And they're harder to buy them off. Right, hello. 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 on three friends. <laughs> Seems like the easiest thing in the world to keep. Huh. That's a good point. Glad it's not me this year. Chasing tokens around like a sucker. Take care, sir. I don't know. Looks kind of fun. Like Final Club all over again. How does it work? The tokens are hidden throughout the castle. You know, like out of reach places like the ramparts. And the first initiate to collect enough tokens undergoes the polygraph test with the chairwoman. If you're deemed worthy, oh, you get promoted hello, dark member. Excuse me. Hmm. I could do that. Yeah, I'm not so sure. Depends on your pain threshold, I guess. So, every year, aspiring ARC patrons compete in a treasure hunt to obtain membership status. 
The first initiate to collect enough tokens undergoes a private screening with Zoe Washington, which appears to involve a polygraph and electroshock device. Hmm. I suggest you join the fray. You see, Zoe Washington upped the stakes this year. Word is, she's brought an ECT device to the interview. Wait, electroshock? But that's torture. Wow. Here went to this party. You wouldn't happen to have one of those tokens, would you? It's just this riddle on my invite. Seek the keepers of the gate. In the courtyard they await. What else could it be? No such luck. But some of the ARC members might. I heard a couple of them whispering. They're definitely up to something. Got it. Thanks. Don't mind me, sir. So, is that the, um, the Master of Ceremonies? Yeah. Yep. You think they're gonna start soon? I feel like we've been waiting for hours. You know how much prep goes into these things? Uh, it might be a while. Yeah, Zoe Washington certainly is. Hey, you! Where do you think you're going? Definitely not through here. Get out of my face. It has to be something real. We do. It's just storage. I don't know. Crap, there's got to be another token around here. Yeah. The others must be way ahead of me by now.
mission to Egypt, the Eye of Horus amulet. Architects only. What's the worst that could happen? I know who I am, sir. I'm telling you, even a damned ghost could get past the sun. It's the holy grail of security systems. Why waste that time? Alarm system's up and running. I'm not an art expert. Out of sight. Mr. Nathaniel tells us to keep an extra eye on it. And that's what we're doing. You're Blake Nathaniel, right? <laughs> if you don't mind me asking. People have been searching for the Cloud Serpent for centuries. Wherever did you find it? Well, to cut a long story short, it began with a Portuguese galleon salvaged off the coast of Costa Rica. One of the long dead sailors had a tattoo etched into the back of his neck, and it spoke of a map. The council still in session? No, they called a recess. The Sophia Washington wants them to pass some kind of motion, but one of the council members is fighting her tooth and nail. Huh. Wouldn't happen to be Jebediah Block, the coal baron, would it? Yeah. How do you know? Well, I happen to know he's on the council. He's one of the original five. You know, the first people to fund the Ark Society back in 91. Plus... So, Sophia Washington has called a council meeting between the original five members of the Ark Society. Sophia hopes to pass some sort of motion, but she faces stark opposition. I just walked in on Sophia Washington screaming Block's name while beating up a pillow cushion. Oh, she was properly pissed. Jeez, must mean a lot to her. What's it about? What am I, paparazzi? I just work for these assholes. Same as you. Well, we posted. Can't lie. Can do. Sophia the Steamer. What's she up to this time? You know that Kronstadt designer in charge of the brain upload program? Sure. What did he do? I don't know. But she seems real interested in this invention of something called... Mr. Block, you look troubled. I know you, don't I? You're Janus's man. I'm a friend of the Ark Society, yes. If I may be so bold, 
I heard about your predicament, and well, I believe I may offer a fresh perspective. Why not? Shoot. All right. Say the world does collapse. The weather goes haywire, the poles melt, and the Ark Society heads off to a comfortable Arctic sanctuary, while the rest of civilization falls into chaos. That's about the gist of it. Sounds great to me. No more needy assholes. Why wait? Well, you do realize what kind of place it'll be, right? What are you talking about? A hundred or so people. No market. No economy. No social structures. It will be like a space colony. Everyone equal and dependent on each other. It will be egalitarian, sir. It will be, well, communist. My God, that's what I paid almost two billion for? Why didn't anyone tell me sooner? Merely food for thought, Mr. Block. Good night. I, I need to, uh, oh, no. think. That's him, the Constant. Providence's top controller. Everything depends on capturing him alive. And I need it fast. Well, why don't you...
Brain uploads, huh? Living forever as a string of code. Yeah, I'm not doing that. Not in a million years. What did they offer you? For your services to the Order? Level 5 bunker in the Svalbard facility? You're kidding. I'm in level 3, and no offense, but I'm like four packets ahead of you. Oh, hi. Did I miss the keynote? I so. Oh, shoot. I really wanted to learn more about the Titan project. I so want to transfer teams. Who gives a crap about cryonics if we're building a bloody space colony? Oh, I hear you. Washington. seen him, I can't approach him. Can I? Man, what did this guy do to Sophia anyway? Miss Washington. Miss Washington, after due consideration, I have revised my position. I would like to support your motion. Well, well, look at you, Block. Finding your good sense and manners. Come along, then. I'll call a vote at once. I knew you'd come around. You're a stubborn block, but you're not a schmuck. You know I'm right. The analysts of my father's think tank have been grinding the data for months, and they are rarely wrong. The Karuna Agreement, climate litigation. We estimate that fossil fuel companies like yours have a decade, at best, before you're all resigned to the junkyard of history. And what kind of secret society would we be if we didn't keep each other in power? What indeed? I knew we could talk sense. Just vote in favor of my motion, and I promise you, Block, you'll power the world for decades to come. But who cares how, as long as you're the one getting paid. Ain't that the truth? Friends and founders, the recess is over. Let's return to the council room and proceed with the vote.
You've certainly placed yourself at the crossroads of history. Nicely done, 47. Let's reiterate. For decades, you, the titans of the energy industry, have conspired to obscure the truth about climate change through lobbying, misinformation, and propaganda. This strategy has been incredibly successful, but all good things must come to an end. It is time for you to adapt or die, ladies and gentlemen. This is why our analysts have devised a 10-year transition plan to keep you in power. Play this right, and you will not only thrive, but this time, you will be the good guys. In other words, you have nothing to lose. So, everyone in favor, say aye. 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 Yay or nay, Block? Silence is consent. Aye. Five eyes. The vote is unanimous. The motion is passed. And now? I believe a toast is in order to the future. Signed, sealed, and delivered. To, to the, the future. future. The, the future. future. The future. Hmm. That Gorka we acquired would look great. Mikhail, fill me in. So, the transcripts are real. Janus really did call the estate in Romania? That is Zoe Washington, chairwoman of the Ark Society, professional treasure hunter, and Providence operative. Quite a mouthful. Your Highness? Ah, Miss Washington. We were just discussing your stage stunt. Seems rather pagan, if you ask me. The Ark Society is not going mystical, I trust. Just adding a bit of oomph, Your Highness. Humans like rituals. It's just how our brains are wired. Besides, we want the Phoenix Ceremony to inspire awe, wonder, and excitement. But after all, exciting times. The potential collapse of civilization is exciting to you. It depends on how you deal with it. Walls and windmills, your highness. I don't like her. How do you think the twins got like I've been planning the founder's wake for over a month. I have some of the world's most prominent people waiting to pay him their last respects. Ambassador, I have so the nice star of the Prague Philharmonic on stage, ready to play a blindfolded rendition of Schubert's Ave Maria on the harp, for God's sake. 
and you're telling me that you lost the sodding dagger? I'm really sorry, ma'am. My team received no notification. You sure they didn't give you a crate number? No. I was told you would have it under control. Is the interview room ready? Just about, Madam Chairwoman. The equipment's set up, and your colleagues down there calibrating. Nice. I can't wait to see the initiate's face. About that. The polygraph I get, but an ECT device. You're not actually gonna electroshock these people, are you? Not if they tell the truth, I won't. But they're pampered billionaires. Think of who you're messing with. I'll sue you blind if you violate them like that. Then you don't understand the wealthy. These people are used to all doors being open to them. A closed door drives them mad. Show them a closed door and they'll chew off their own foot to gain entrance. I can go full Stanley Milgram on their asses and they'll still smile and ask for seconds. Why? This one. You're as scary as they say you are. Well, I haven't been shot at for months. A girl needs her fun. It's a cloud serpent. They say it belonged to Montezuma himself. It was lost for over 500 years, oh, until Blake Nathaniel unsealed the serpent's tomb. Extraordinary. Oh, Professor, long time no see. Anyway, Janice the Washington Twins What did they do? Why I? Not it's mine. It's called has the necklace in her hand when Nathaniel repels from the ceiling, triggers this ancient death trap, and you know, murder and mayhem ensues. But I thought those two were lovers. Well, on and off, currently way off, which explains the added security. I don't follow. Think about it. Why? Did... So, according to its charter. The Ark Society collects priceless art and has need for an alarm system. We're all filthy rich, except... Uh, I see. Blake thinks Sophia might try and steal back the necklace before it's sealed in the Ark of the Legacy. Good grief. Honor among thieves, huh? I'll say. Sophia's dad is president of the Pax Mundus Foundation. Yeah, ex-Cicada mercenaries, mostly. Call themselves raiders. 
Zoe and Sophia employ them on their missions. Word is they kill and blow up anything that stands in their way. Amnesty claims they annihilated an entire indigenous Amazon tribe while searching for the lost city of Z, but they never found the smoking gun.
the council meeting. You know what it's about? Climate change. Take you out, you knucklehead! Lost sight of him. Move to a better position. is Janus is a name to me. That's about it. I never actually We're all set. Cue the music. Playing dead? Hmm. This takes me back. Good thinking, 47. Everything's 
seems to be in order. Suppose we move ahead. Thank you for coming, everyone. The service shall begin in a moment. Thank you all for coming. As Janus's successor, it, it falls upon me to say a few words. I'll keep it brief, for there is little I can say that does the man justice. Janus was our founder, and like all true visionaries, he was far ahead of the curve. While we, the privileged class, were blissfully toasting the end of history, Janus saw the writing on the wall. As a veteran of the Cold War, Janus knew better than anyone that when true disaster strikes, the rich are as damned as everyone else, unless we work together. Janus never got to see the collapse, but died peacefully in his sleep. And yet, what he started in 1991 will one day be hailed as the dawn of a new age, one where the best among us can thrive uninhibited. This is Janus's legacy. Long live his memory. And now, you are welcome to pay the founder your last respects. So long, old man. People always had a better run than most. And the most successful spy in modern history. Oh, and that whole Jasper Knight incident was just... Really he died the way he lived. Anyway, enjoy your rest. That. You've earned it. looking even in death. Get it. That mortician is a genius. I totally believe that you once wrestled a brown bear to a tie. Anyway, Godspeed, Mr. Janus. Sorry I never knew you. Goodbye, Janus. We won't forget you. Odd how you helped shape the 20th century. And yet nobody knows your name. Das Vidani, old boy. You were always the best of us. I still can't believe I never got to beat you at chess. So long, my dear. I can't believe you're gone. Last of the greats. I'll make sure those naive fools who replaced you won't mess things up too bad. Don't you worry. Goodbye, old friend. And thank you for everything. Rest assured, I will finish what you started. So, here we are. You didn't want me and Sophia taking over. Fought us tooth and nail, but a fat lot of good it did you.